Whoa. Whoa, look how fast he is. Let me introduce you to the fastest villager alive. Oh my goodness, I can't even keep up with him. Where did he go? Oh my goodness, did you see that? Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecraft. And welcome to another Minecraft Mod Showcase, where today we are on another field trip. We've got the whole crew here, Grim and Treoris as well, and we are going to be exploring the brand new villages of the Mo Villages mod. Now what this mod does is simply just add in an absolute ton of different village types into your Minecraft world. Now at the moment I've bumped up the spawn rate of the villages, so they are absolutely everywhere, but that's going to make exploring them much more fun. So are you ready guys? Treoris? You ready? I think he's ready. He's got no choice in the matter. Let's get going. Come on then, Grim. Let's um, take you because he's really, really excited about this. Treoris, maybe not so much, but you come and follow anyway, you little punk. So this is a traditional Minecraft village, which I'm sure most of you have looked at. Don't go for a swim, okay, Grim? I know you don't like water that much, but please don't go for a swim. So let's go over here. Um, and wow, there's a lot of villagers here. Look at all your friends, Treoris, all your cousins and um, long lost brothers and stuff are here. You don't do you not want to talk to them? Oh, uh, yeah, they they had a bit of a family argument. Um, see, look, he barged right past him. My goodness, Treyos, and he's he's looking suspiciously at Grim right there. I don't like that at all. So, you know these villages very well. There's only usually two types of villages in Minecraft: this one and also sand villages as well. And um, I really really like the sand villages. So it's a shame that there aren't more kinds of villages in Minecraft. So we're gonna explore some of them with this mod today. And this. Looks a little bit awkward. This guy's house or the library of the um of the village has been intersected with an unfortunate farm. So he's got like a, a farm side retreat there, which is a little bit interesting. We've also got um all the traditional things from a village. It doesn't change much of the traditional villages, but um let's grab Grim before he gets all lost and um maybe even stolen by that guy who's looking very suspiciously at him. And let's head over to this village over here, because this one looks a little bit more interesting. At the face of it, there is one of um, the traditional villages. It looks a little bit weird, that one, though. Maybe because it's intersecting it a lot. But um, on the left here, we have a brand new one. Now, what biome are we in at the moment? This one is Sunflower Plains. But now we are in... We're in the normal plains. But it's kind of changed to Darkwood. Now, because I've got villages spawning absolutely everywhere. Where's Grim? Grim? Oh, Grim, you okay? There, I think he's okay. <laughs> he was kind of intersected the stair there. But as we've got loads of villages in this mod, what has happened is they're all intersecting each other, which is why we're missing bits. But it's all for the mod. So this won't happen when you install the mod. It's okay. But check this out. We've got um, brand new houses that are made out of brand new woods, which is really cool. What wood is this, actually? This is dark oak wood, which is awesome. So that's a brand new wood from um, the brand new Minecraft version and the brand new um, Minecraft biomes as well, which is awesome. And this one is just joint with a blacksmith now i love me a good blacksmith so let's see what's inside here wow we've got um, an iron chest plate some bread some iron ingots i'm gonna pop this on for a bit because I'm, I'm a bit chilly actually a little bit chilly and that is um the first of many brand new villages now where should we go now grim let's go over this way and um see what's going on so as you can see lots of dark woke wood planks have been added in here and oh these guys are on the roof. What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you on the roof, guys? But um, regardless of that, there's one... Wow, look at that. Look at that interesting... Oh, my goodness. It's got, like, a, an Uber extension on the top. That's amazing. Wow. That is, that is pretty impressive. Right then, come on, guys. We're going to go over to here. And, oh, we have a... What looks like a water village. <laughs> this is interesting. This is very interesting indeed. I think I might need to leave Grim at the side because he hates swimming um not sure if treoris is that good at swimming but there's only one way to find out so we'll leave grim here for a second and treoris if you can follow me then follow me but be very careful please don't fall down oh my goodness he's so smart <laughs> at least he didn't fall down and let's head over here quick that's a little bit weird right there isn't it um is he gonna follow me he actually is look at him oh my goodness he's like the best swimmer ever Wow, I'm impressed, Treoris. I'm actually impressed. But this looks like a, a water village. Unfortunately, these villagers aren't that good at swimming or getting through doors, apparently. And um, they're not going to be able to visit each other. So if you come across one of these, you probably want to help them out a little bit. Because they're going to be a little bit stuck. Um, unlike, oh, goodness, um, where is Treoris gone? Treoris? Okay, there he is. He's still swimming along. He's happy as can be. Um, and I'm going to meet you at the brand new village type. Wow. 
Um, there is a lot of village action going on here. We've got a few different ones. Now, look how many have spawned just in one place. We go from here. There's like one there, one here, one in the distance, one in the middle, one all the way at the top there, which is a really awesome looking one and a couple around here. There's, there's so many. I love villagers. Treros doesn't really love villagers that much, but I do. And this is literally heaven right now. Look how many of them there are. There's so many. Now, we are currently in, we're in a normal plains biome, which is why the these normal villagers have spawned. Oh, there's a blacksmith. I need to check out the blacksmith. I love a good blacksmith. So let's go into here. And we have got... Oh, diamonds. Beautiful. I'm going to take an apple for my trip as well because just a little bit peckish. And let's go over here to um, this one. So, Grim, where are you, buddy? Grim? Grim? Oh, he's here. I'm just going to have to put him just here because he doesn't like swimming at all. And this one's kind of spawned in the water as well. We've got another darkwood village. I don't want your seeds, punk. Please. Thank you. Um, there we go. We've got another darkwood village. And there's some mushrooms in here, which is very nice. Got some bushes as well, kind of mixing in with the tall trees and the um, houses as well inside this roofed forest biome. Now, I'm liking this one. I really like this one with the different levels. It's got the water bits and that villager. I thought he disappeared then. That was a bit weird. And we've also got a new one over here. Check this out. Where's Grim? I don't want to leave him behind. Grim? Grim, where are you? I think I left him over here. There he is. I don't know where Treoris has gone, though. He's probably off with his villager friends, but a um, little bit worrying. Oh! Since when did you learn how to teleport? That was impressive. Have an apple. Have an apple. Right then, Grim, let's go and take a look at this village that's on the side of a mountain. And then what we'll do is go and discover some brand new, really interesting ones. Now, this is one of them, but there's another one which I think will be my favorite village from this mod. But check this out. This is an extreme hills biome village. It's made out of bricks and it's made out of um, stone bricks, stone slabs. We've got, this is actually a really beautiful one. Look at this. We've got a, a fountain, a, not a fountain, a waterfall. That's a bit bigger than a fountain isn't it we've got a guy that's unfortunately stuck on the cliff top but that's okay um we've got tons of stuff here grim do not go too far you just stare out that cow okay you just stare him out make sure he doesn't go anywhere and me and treos will explore the rest so let's go around here we've got a waterfall around here and um we've got coal ore acting as the houses which is pretty crazy to be honest um i think they just have like the traditional village structures but they have a lot of interesting blocks used so for example we have lots of stone bricks and if you're a guy that likes to find a village and to steal from it like me i'm not gonna lie it's it, it's what i do um it's a good one to steal from because we've got lots of stone bricks got lots of slabs lots of fences there's another one over there as well which looks really cool and loads of bricks to steal as well it, it's just another way to get interesting resources without having to explore absolutely everything and i think what we should try and find now i think this is a mix of the two because there is a tiger biome is that how you say it tiger tiger i don't really know Charles. do you no, I didn't think you did. Um, we're going to have to find one of those. And I think this is a mix of the both. So there's like a village that's inside snow, which is really cool. Look how many villages there are. There's one right here. Oh, my goodness, that guy. He's never going to be able to leave his house. He's trying, but he just can't. Look at the drop. Jeez. Oh, my goodness. He's just going to be in absolutely terrible shape when he walks out of his door. But look at this. You get really, really interesting structures. Now, we're going to go off and find a brand new village. And we'll meet you there. <laughs> Look at that house. Look. It's actually um, doing something pretty... Oh, actually, we shouldn't we shouldn't be looking at that. But um, guys, where are you? Okay, we're coming over here because we found it. Look at this. A massive mushroom biome. This took literally forever to find. And um, I'm going to build Grim a quick bridge. You sit here, buddy. Don't worry. I'm not going to make you sit near the water. We're going to take a look at this mushroom village over here. Now, I just need to make him a little bit of a bridge. Treros can swim as he's shown his beautiful swimming skills already ready let's just make a quick bridge for grim so he doesn't fall in the water by accident and um he should be ready to come across now grim you okay buddy it's okay it's okay look come come over here it's okay just walk slowly and you'll be able to make it across it'll be absolutely fine so this is a mushroom biome don't see many of these really do we just be careful grim be careful look come over here very slowly thank goodness for that the bridge worked so um i love mushroom biomes i really do now are there any mushrooms around would be awesome if there were some but to be honest we've come for the main attraction which is the okay this is a very precarious step here grim watch your step if i see you jumping in any water 
I will not be happy. I will not be happy at all. So Treros is kind of finding his own way around as well. And um, I need to go over to this mushroom house over here. So let me just walk over here. This is a huge one. Look at that. The house is massive. But as you can see, if you come across a mushroom biome, you have the chance of finding a mushroom village. Which is completely made out of mushrooms. Check this out. I love this. I love building stuff out of mushrooms when I absolutely find them. I love this block as well, which is like the inside of a mushroom. Nice to see you didn't fall in any water or anything, Grim. I didn't have to save you. But look how beautiful this is. It's amazing, especially with all the villagers in sight. I want to go over to this um, huge village house over here. It would be really cool if the villagers kind of changed as well. So if we had like mushroom villagers, that could possibly be something they add into the mod later on. And the size of this house is incredible absolutely insane let's go and have a look at it this is a beautiful village and it's it's kind of inside okay it's a little bit a little bit precarious to get inside let me just break the roof and look at this looks like it's got spotty carpet and everything it looks absolutely incredible now let's just take a quick look around the rest absolutely awesome look at this it's got really cool generation as well where it's put the farms like underground that's insane look at this Oh my goodness, there's villages absolutely everywhere. Oh, the world has come to an end. Look, there's a mushroom kind of like church over there as well. Look, it looks like it's made out of bones almost, but that is so awesome looking. Now, I've got one more type of village to show you, which is going to be absolutely epic. So, Treros, if you could just stop messing around, please, and just get out. Get out, Treros, get out. Thank goodness. Um, we're going to go to a Mesa village. I will see you in a second. Right then, everyone, when I turn around, you are going to be absolutely amazed. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Check this out. It is a Mesa or Mesa village. It looks absolutely incredible. I think this is possibly one of my favorite Banu biomes. What's going on? Why? Whoa. Why did he? What, what are you doing to these guys? You better not be doing experiments on these people. That guy is walking super fast for no reason. You better not be playing around with potions in here. We're only visiting, okay? Not messing them around. Come on. You okay, sir? You okay? I think he's okay. You okay? Awesome. So as I was saying, the Mesa biomes are probably one of my... No, they are my favorite biomes that have been added into Minecraft. Look at it. They just look beautiful. Absolutely crazy. And the villages look even better. Check this out. There is stained clay everywhere. And it just looks... Like a painting. It looks so good. It's... Oh, this is, this is the biggest village I've ever seen in my life. It goes, like, all the way from over there, all the way down here. There's a well in the middle, a crossroads. It goes all the way around here. There's a sand village mixed with a normal village over there. And there's one with my favorite type of woods. Look. Incredible. We need to go over there in a second, guys. Let's go over there as well. Treos, I swear you've been messing around with potions, buddy. You really have. Let's go over to this other um, village and then we'll end out the review. Because this is a simple but very, very awesome mod. Perfect for a mod pack. Or if you just want to make your vanilla Minecraft a little bit more interesting with all the villages. And if, like me, you want to see all of these villages at once, then um, then do check out the, the config. It tells you how to add all of this crazy stuff in. Right then, let's go over here. And look at this. This is like three villages merged into one. We've got a Mesa village here. We've got um, a sand village. And this house right here is like a mixture of the three. Look at this. It's got sand, sandstone. Um, it's got acacia wood. And it's also got... Just, just the, the traditional village structure at the bottom. This is insane, guys. We've had literally the best field trip ever. Just look at this. Look at this. It's amazing. So that's pretty much what this mod has to offer. And if you do like what you see and do want to play it for yourself, then please do head to the description below where you'll find a link to download this mod. Did you have a good time, guys? We need to kind of find our way home because we've been walking for absolutely ages. Might ring a taxi or something. Find a horse we can tame. Something like that to get back to the lab. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this video, then please do leave a big fat thumbs up. And that will be greatly appreciated. And also, if you happen to be new to the channel, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for Daily Minecraft videos and we will see you all next time good bye whoa whoa look how fast he is let me introduce you to the fastest villager alive oh my goodness i can't even keep up with him where did he go oh my goodness did you see that
everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecraft. Welcome to another Minecraft Mod Showcase, where today we are on another field trip. We've got the whole crew here, Grim and Treoris as well, and we are going to be exploring the brand new villages of the Mo Villages mod. Now what this mod does is simply just add in an absolute ton of different village types into your Minecraft world. Now at the moment I've bumped up the spawn rate of the villages, so they're absolutely everywhere, but that's going to make exploring them much more fun. So are you ready guys? Trust, are you ready? I think he's ready. He's got no choice in the matter. Let's get going. Come on then, Grim. Let's um, take you because he's really, really excited about this. Treoris, maybe not so much, but you come and follow anyway, you little punk. So this is a traditional Minecraft village, which I'm sure most of you have looked at. Don't go for a swim, okay, Grim? I know you don't like water that much, but please don't go for a swim. So let's go over here. Um, and wow, there's a lot of villagers here. Look at all your friends, Treoris, all your cousins and um, long lost brothers and stuff are here. You don't, do you not want to talk to them? Oh, uh, yeah, they, they had a bit of a family argument. Um, see, look, he barged right past him. My goodness, Treyarus. And he's he's looking suspiciously at Grim right there. I don't like that at all. So, you know these villages very well. There's only usually two types of villages in Minecraft. This one and also sand villages as well. And um, I really, really like the sand villages. So, it's a shame that there aren't more kinds of villages in Minecraft. So, we're going to explore some of them with this mod today. And this... Looks a little bit awkward. This guy's house or the library of the um, of the village has been intersected with an unfortunate farm. So he's got like a, a farm side retreat there, which is a little bit interesting. We've also got um, all the traditional things from a village. It doesn't change much of the traditional villages. But um, let's grab Grim before he gets all lost and um, maybe even stolen by that guy who's looking very suspiciously at him. And let's head over to this village over here because this one looks a little bit more interesting at the face of it. There is one of um, the traditional villages. It looks a little bit weird, that one, though. Maybe because it's intersecting it a lot. But um, on the left here, we have a brand new one. Now, what biome are we in at the moment? This one is Sunflower Plains. But now we are in... We're in the normal plains. But it's kind of changed to Darkwood. Now, because I've got villages spawning absolutely everywhere. Where's Grim? Grim? Oh, Grim, you Okay. There, I think he's okay. <laughs> it was kind of intersected the stair there. But as we've got loads of villages in this mod, what has happened is they're all intersecting each other, which is why we're missing bits. But it's all for the mod. So this won't happen when you install the mod. It's okay. But check this out. We've got um, brand new houses that are made out of brand new woods, which is really cool. What wood is this, actually? This is dark oak wood, which is awesome. So that's a brand new wood from um, the brand new Minecraft version and the brand new um, Minecraft biomes as well, which is awesome. And this one is joint with a blacksmith now i love me a good blacksmith so let's see what's inside here wow we've got um, an iron chest plate some bread some iron ingots i'm gonna pop this on for a bit because I'm, I'm a bit chilly actually a little bit chilly and that is um the first of many brands new villages now where should we go now grim let's go over this way and um see what's going on so as you can see lots of dark woke wood planks have been added in here and oh these guys are on the roof. What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you on the roof, guys? But um, regardless of that, there's one... Wow, look at that. Look at that interesting... Oh, my goodness. It's got, like, a, an Uber extension on the top. That's amazing. Wow. That is, that is pretty impressive. Right then, come on, guys. We're going to go over to here. And, oh, we have a... What looks like a water village. <laughs> this is interesting. This is very interesting indeed. I think I might need to leave Grim at the side because he hates swimming. Um, not sure if Treoris is that good at swimming, but there's only one way to find out. So we'll leave Grim here for a second. And Treoris, if you can follow me, then follow me. But be very careful. Please don't fall down. Oh my goodness, he's so smart. <laughs> at least he didn't fall down. And let's head over here quick. That's a little bit weird right there, isn't it? Um, is he going to follow me? He actually is. Look at him. Oh my goodness, he's like the best swimmer ever. Wow, I'm impressed, Treoris. I'm actually impressed. But this looks like a, a water village. Unfortunately, these villagers aren't that good at swimming or getting through doors, apparently. And um, they're not going to be able to visit each other. So if you come across one of these, you probably want to help them out a little bit. Because they're going to be a little bit stuck. Um, unlike, oh, goodness, um, where is Treoris gone? Treoris? You okay? There he is. He's still swimming along. He's happy as can be. Um, and I'm going to meet you at the brand new village type. Wow. 
Um, there is a lot of village action going on here. We've got a few different ones. Now, look how many have spawned just in one place. We go from here, there's like one there, one here, one in the distance, one in the middle, one all the way at the top there, which is a really awesome looking one, and a couple around here. There's, there's so many. I love villagers. Treos doesn't really love villagers that much, but I do, and this is literally heaven right now. Look how many of them there are. There's so many. Now, we are currently in, we're in a normal plains biome, which is why these normal villages have spawned. Oh, there's a blacksmith. I need to check out the blacksmith. I love a good blacksmith. So let's go into here. And we have got... Oh, diamonds. Beautiful. I'm going to take an apple for my trip as well because just a little bit peckish. And let's go over here to um, this one. So, Grim, where are you, buddy? Grim? Grim? Oh, he's here. I'm just going to put him just here because he doesn't like swimming at all. And this one's kind of spawned in the water as well. Got another darkwood village. I don't want your seeds, punk. Please. Thank you. Um, there we go. We've got